Yes. yes. We can sit now. <laughs> Since a few years ago, I was used to make a very boring job and I decided to move to a very beautiful land that is Sicily. Sicily is a, is a place with an ancient history and uh, one of its uh, history is about chocolate, especially Modica. Modica is a small town in the southeast part of Sicily where there's a long tradition of chocolate making, more than 250 years. In Modica, chocolate, all these uh, raw materials retains their properties, beneficial and in terms of taste. That's the main, one of the main, the two main differences between Modica chocolate and the others. Uh, the other main difference is that there is no cocoa butter added so it's lower in fat. So in your mouth is always clean after you taste the chocolate. And this is very important, for example, for pairing chocolate with other alcohol-based liquids, like wine, beer, or whiskey, or whatever you, you prefer. Also tea. It's, you know, working with this kind of chocolate this kind of technique is um, offer you a, really a lot of uh, um, options because I can let you taste the same chocolate with the same ingredients chopped in a different way. The taste changes completely, completely. This pairing is quite impossible for all other chocolate. Uh, if you try with any other chocolate will really cover the wine. So when you do pairing chocolate and wine, do you like swallow down the chocolate? Well, or you wait, you... I suggest to eat, uh, to drink a bit of wine, just to prepare your mouth, and then start eating a bit of chocolate, and then start over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prepare for the next one. <laughs> okay. yeah, prepare for the next one. <laughs> and then what?